And Thorburn was here in 1980, winning the title. I don't think anybody would expect medals for guessing the next shot to be played. Cue ball right behind the brown, I would imagine. One, step forward. <laughs> Nicely out of the snooker. But has he done any damage? Thirty-six points the difference. And it looks as if Cliff can pop this red into the corner pocket. Just wants this frame Eight. to become world snooker champion. Take the trophy and fifteen thousand pounds. He's now 51 points ahead and a possible 51 points on the table. 15. That shot must truly sadden the heart of Alex Hurricane Higgins. Alex Higgins, who won this title his first attempt 18. in 1972, was defeated in the final in 1976 by Ray Redden. <coughs> this has been truly a great final. We have seen some magnificent snooker in the past two weeks here at the Crucible at Sheffield. Great shot. And 
Cliff Thorburn must surely be now thinking of donning the Embassy World Crown. Sixty-seven points in front, with a mere twenty-seven points left on the table. Thirty-three. The world title for the first time going across the water to Canada. 32-year-old Cliff Thorburn from Toronto. Defeated by John Spencer in 1977, has fought his battles through Doug Mountjoy, Jim Weich, David Taylor, and now finally, the unpredictable Alex Hurricane Higgins to take the Embassy World Snooker Championship title in 1980.